Well, we're outside the Mashalu now. This is really an amazing ship. You have to see this. Not only is it huge, but it is so incredibly packed with energy. It's, it's, you, can, you can feel it. It's palpable. And the masts, when you look at the masts, when I see them, I see sailors all over the masts. And some of them know that they have crossed over and some of them don't. And that's why it's so much of a ghost ship. And you have to love the ship. The energy on it is, is amazing. It's just, uh, it's a fun ship too. I don't think anything really bad happened here. So in the course of the time that, that we're here, we're going to try to release some of these, these spirits who are part of the Mashalo. Again, this is Joyce Keller, and we're here in the Philadelphia Harbor of Pennsylvania. In radio shows, we always try to go to places that are very, very unusual. We're, we're here today at the Mashalo in the Pennsylvania, Philadelphia Harbor, and there's a little bit of the background on the wall here. This place is so spooky and so haunted. This is great. This is a, an old, old ship from the early 1900s and has a very, very unusual history. So we're going to look around and see what kind of spooks and ghosts we can find. Over here we have a ship's wheel, as you can see. And the energy in this place is unbelievable. It just feels like it's packed with any kind of spooks and psychic energy you can imagine. I shouldn't call them spooks, but you know, a lot of people feel that it's kind of spooky here, and it really is. Now here's a long corridor over here where um, you can see that at one time when it was a sailing ship, this was a very, very popular ship, and apparently it has quite a, a history. Uh, I don't know if people have died on the ship or what, but it sure feels like they have. As a psychic, who has been hosting a psychic television and radio show for many, many years, I have to tell you that this is what I do, and this is what I love, and when I'm in a situation like this, I'm really happy. So let's see what's over here. Now, over here, I'm, I'm being very careful because I haven't been here before. Well, I'll tell you, this is, I guess, where the, where the captain, the captain's quarters were in here. Now, let me tell you, this is like, it feels to me like, there are sailors everywhere you look. There's one, one guy you probably can't see. I can see him sitting there like an astral form. You can call it a ghost, a spirit, whatever you would like. There's an astral form right there, and I'm going to say he was the captain when this first started sailing. Again, this is the Mashalo, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's quite a famous ship. It's quite, quite a beautiful ship, very, very well maintained. But uh, this captain thinks he's still sailing. And I'm going to make an effort before we leave tonight to tell him that he's not going anywhere. <laughs> he should not continue to, to sail a ship that's not going anyplace. But there he is right there. See if he can come over here. And he tells me his name is William. I think the first name is Peter, like a Peter Williams. Peter Williams. Okay, Captain Williams. Do you think that you're actually still sailing? Well, how about going into the light, Captain? Go into the light. I, you know, when I try to do this uh, ghost busting or removal of spirits, I try to tell them to go into the light because they really don't belong on the earth anymore. Once you cross over and you're not a physical person, you, know, you don't have a physical body, you should go. Just leave the body. Okay? All right. We're